We very early on at the institute resisted on just focusing on mindfulness or empathy or compassion in one way or another. But we figured that it should come as a whole package. So mindfulness is about understanding yourself, self-regulation, emotion regulation, coming to peace within yourself. Most of us fight demons on a daily basis, anyway I do. Uh, and it's, it's not easy. Because there's so many challenges, and that sets aside the 21st century, is that in a way it's the period of the Anthropocene. We are the ones who are creating the way that we move forward. We are shaping the planet. I believe strongly that youth can play the most important role in, in any peace building programs, whether that's compassionate integrity training or any particular training uh, relating to peace. Mindfulness and self-awareness are absolutely crucial to respond to the drivers of violent extremism. If we it, Think on, on very simple terms, if you have inner peace, it's uh, a prerequisite for outer peace. So, it, and conversely, if, if there's turmoil inside of you, it leads you to add to turmoil out in the world around you. Mindfulness, uh, just keeping your minds present and, and noticing everything in the moment that we experience. One thing that we can all do is just try and maximise the um, amount of times that we act in a kind way um, and um, try and feel empathy for other people um, and this will sort of build it up as a skill in some ways um, and then meaning that it's easier to um, be kind in the future maybe in times when it's a challenge for us um, and also I think we can um, you know, think about applying kindness as widely as possible uh, so often we're motivated to be kind to people that we know and um, particularly family and friends um, but we need to kind of make an effort to spread this out to um, people more generally, people we've never met, people who um, live in different communities and countries. The biggest tool for CIT is systems for youth and peace building and understanding systems and engaging in systems that uh, are oppressive and understanding the complexity of, of issues and problems so for instance, they can see something from political, from a economic perspective, from a health perspective, from a development perspective, and they'll be able to not only see issues but solutions from more balanced perspective as well. So I think that the system's uh, contribution and building capacity is extremely valuable for youth and peace building. Pushing the idea of kindness through media is really, really critical and important because uh, you know the youth, the people, they're primarily they're consuming news on social media, they're consuming information on social media. It's the responsibility of the media you know, to act responsibly and prioritize such content which promotes kindness, which promotes optimism, which promotes transformation. And uh, that's something which should uh, be you know, very essential uh, in the uh, priorities of any, any new age media, for sure. I think we're here to really learn about humanistic qualities, the importance of them and how we can develop them in ourselves and bring them out. And not just for ourselves, but then how can we take them back into our communities, even into our families and help inspire other people to be more compassionate and more kind. I believe that nothing is more empowering or inspiring 
for other people to be kind, then kindness itself. I think in a world where um, there is so much hate and violence, it's overwhelming and difficult to understand that every single act of kindness is a micro-movement. And when all of those micro-movements come together, it's going to snowball into a world full of kindness. I think this event was really important uh, for global youth and especially the New Delhi Declaration on Kindness that we've put together over the last few days that has brought together over a thousand different voices from youth all over the world will be highly important and can act as a kind of guidance and uh, can give equity to youth everywhere working on kindness, working on empathy in their respective fields.